हेलो एवरी वन टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट ऑर्डिनेंस मेकिंग पावर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट एंड गवर्नर कमिंग टू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑर्डिनेंसेस आर लॉस एनएक्टेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट वाइल द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज इन सेशन एज वी नो दैट इट कैन रेगुलेट एनी सब्जेक्ट ऑन विच कांग्रेस हैज लेजिस्लेटिव पावर नाउ लेट एस सी दैट द रेगुलेटरी प्रोमोलगेशन स्ट्रैटेजी इज इंटेंडेड टू एनेबल एग्जीक्यूटिव ब्रांच टू रेस्पॉन्ड अनफोर्स इन सर्कमस्टांसेज दट आर आइज एन विद इन द कंट्री वाइल कांग्रेस इज इन नॉट इन सेशन नाउ एज वे आर नो दैट वॉट इज ऑर्डिनेंस एंड वॉट ऑर्डिनेंस ऑफ पावर मेकिंग लॉ विच आर एनेक्टेड बाई द प्रेसिडेंट एंड गवर्नर हैव लेजिस्लेटिव पावर्स इंक्लूडिंग द पावर टू इश्यू एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑर्डर्स फॉर यूज इन स्पेसिफिक प्रोसेस but they also have the power to issue regulations while congress is not in session these regulations although temporary while having the session of same powers and effect as legislation presidential command authority article 123 of constitution gives the president the power to issue regulations during recess of congress the constitution places the following four limitations on the president's authority to issue executive orders The president can issue a decree only when both or one house of Congress is in session. Order is issued by the president while both houses of Parliament are in session are null and void. Therefore, the president's power is to issue regulations is not equivalent to the law, and the president may issue orders only if he believes that circumstances exist in the requirement of immediate action. Except for time limit, the president's power in all areas are equivalent to the legislative power of Congress. now presidential command authority is nothing but a constitution which places the four limitations of president authority in the equivalence of issues in executive orders therefore orders can only be made in respect of matters for which parliament has the power to make laws regulations are subject to the same constitutional limitations as act of congress well of the ordinance if both the house and senate approve the regulation it will become law immediately challenges to regulations If Parliament meets on a different day, the sixth week period is calculated from the next day. If both houses of Congress pass its objections to this regulation, it will be repealed immediately. If Congress does not act on the regulation, it would be expired six weeks after Congress adjourns. Therefore, if not adopted by Congress, the regulation will remain in force for a maximum of six months and six weeks. In fact, the maximum possible length of a parliamentary session is six months. Power to issue orders in judicial perspective. 38th Constitutional Amendment Act of 1975 expanded the president's power to issue orders other than through judicial review but this provision was removed by the Constitutional Amendment Act in 44th Congress in 1978 which is in response to the Supreme Court's ruling that presidential ratification may be justified by breach of trust Asi Cooper versus Union of India in 1970 the Supreme Court in this case held that the president decision on an order is appealable because the order does not require immediate action or is issued parliamentary to avoid controversy or controversy he said it was possible discussion in the legislative council now coming to next to case law dc vadhva case 1987 the supreme court in this case held that constitutional continuous promulgation of ordinances containing the same wordings without any attempt to pass the bill in parliament or parliament in on constitutional and ordinances shall be repealed finally i would like to conclude commands are almost always a controversial topic and subject to debate it seeks to dispute the balance between the executive and legislative branches by introducing an element of arbitrariness into the constitutional system and weakening the rule of law wherever the executive branch exercises such powers it shows contempt for the legislative branch thank you all